Hi team, I hope you're all well. Today I am bringing you a very, very exciting video. I cannot believe I'm finally doing this. I've wanted to do this for so long and now I'm finally doing it. I obviously, you will see the description um, in the title and you will have seen the thumbnail as well. But my inspiration for this has obviously come from Becca, from Becca and the Books. So if you haven't already, I don't know what you're doing, but do go and check her channel out. I will link her down below. She's fantastic. And she came up with this TBR game called Bookopoly. I think it was like two years ago now or something, or not far off if she's not hit that yet. And um, it was amazing. I immediately fell in love with it. It was fantastic. So I did make a Bookopoly board beginning of well for 2018 I think it was but I didn't stick to it at the time I didn't really know my reading tastes and things like that and I felt like I was being too restricted but honestly I feel like it's time that I started to restrict myself I feel like my TBIs are just getting wild and way out of hand and I really really need some structure and doing Becca's Bookopolathon in September really really gave me that and I really enjoyed it I had such a great time it was so good um so yeah I wanted I messaged Becca after Bookopolathon and asked her would she mind if I made my own board and did my own twist on it and things like that she said no no go for it I'm so excited to see it so thanks so much to Becca for like a-okay in this I really appreciate it and I'm really hoping that this sort of helps me stay focused and helps me sort of you know narrow my reading tastes down a little bit more I've really really learned a lot about my reading tastes in the year of 2020 because I've read so many books so far so at the time of filming this I think I've read 256 books or something not far off that so yeah I have read a lot of books I've DNF'd a lot of books I've learned a lot about my reading tastes in the year of 2020 so I'm really really hyped about this I couldn't wait till January so we're doing this for December <laughs> because why the hell not and I'm really really excited so here is the board I am so hyped there are some things on here that are similar so for example the community ch shelf and chance cards are very similar to Becca's in in the sense that community shelf are prompts and chance cards are a, a selection of books that I, I am and I'm not as much so interested in reading some of the um, main squares are similar as well not all of them you will see I will do an introduction into the board in a second and yeah I'm just very excited this took me so long to make I started making one wasn't happy with how it came out and then yesterday literally yesterday started making this one and early hours of this morning when I'm filming this I finished it off it was like half past three three o'clock when I finished it off so I just couldn't wait I just wanted to film I'm so excited <laughs> so yeah again thank you so much to Becca for um a lot like giving me the okay to do this I am so hyped I really appreciate it and there are some extra twists to my board so um editing me is going to cut to flat lay me explaining those rules to you Okay, I hope you guys can see this okay. Quick intro into the board. Some things are similar to Becca's board, some things are different. Obviously, it says Steph loves Bookopoly in the middle. Um, and as always, there will be some chance cards similar to Becca's. And community shelf cards have got some prompts on them. So similar to Becca's in that sense. And going around the board, go is the same prompt as Becca's, which is to randomise your TBR. And then for the browns, I have got horror slash thriller. I don't read a lot of horror or thriller. I read more thriller than I do horror, but I want to read more horror if I can do it going into next year. Um, then I have science fiction, dystopian and science fiction, because they sort of come together. I want to read more science fiction going into 2021. I love sci-fi. I just don't read enough of it. Um, and then we've got community shelf, which is obviously to pick one of these cards up most recent purchase and a book with own voices kind of pick my train stations to be of that subject matter you will see as we go around and then obviously the chance card and at the end where jail would normally be i've got poll pick um so i leave it up to you guys over on twitter 
Then for the purples, we've got contemporary historical fiction and magical realism. Magical realism and contemporary kind of go hand in hand. And I do want to read more historical fiction, so I did want to fit this on the board. And then for orange, we've got adult fantasy. I want to read more adult fantasy in 2021. I seem to be veering a little bit from YA and I want to go more into adult. So that's what I'm planning on doing. Then I've got small book under 300 pages and also the community shelf as always and then um author or person of color rep so uh as i mentioned before with their own voices the train station on this side is author or person of color rep um, and then gifted so read a book that's been gifted to me over on this side for the reds we've got romance so this could be a uh, contemporary romance it can be paranormal romance it can be smut it can be whatever i want it to be as long as there's romance in it and then for yellow we've got middle grade i do want to pick up more middle grade in 2021 and the chance and also lgbtq plus rep uh, book and then a big book as well over 500 pages and then at the very end five star prediction which I will be doing a video for in December as part of my uh, bookmas videos and then the last side for green we have YA fantasy so I've got like the night core and then some moots moon and stars and then a snake because there's always a snake on YA books and then for the dark blues I've got graphic novel and manga because I love reading graphic novels and manga and I think I should make more time for them this year uh, well in the in the coming year and then I've got community shelf and chance as they always are and then disability rep I do want to read more books with disability rep in them so I wanted to stick this on here to encourage me to do that and then kindle unlimited I don't take advantage enough of my kindle unlimited subscription so I wanted to force myself to do that and then we're back at the beginning so the counter that we're going to use for this is is going to be Johnny Depp as Captain Jack Sparrow because we stan Johnny Depp on this channel. If you don't like it, you know where the door is. Um, so we will pop him on go. I also have my regular die to throw. Obviously, if we get a double similar to Becca's, if we get a double, we add another roll. Um, so yeah, got hair on that. My hair is falling out. And then just to shake things up a little bit, I wanted to do things a little bit differently. So just to shake things up a little bit, I actually have one of my D&D die. Now, the die that I have picked is the 12 sided die. And what I'm going to do with this is I will roll this before I start. And this will be how many rolls I have for the month. I did want to do my 20 sided die. So there is a chance for me to level up with this um, depending on how things go. I just want to trial run first with the 12 sided die and see how things go. Now the advantages and disadvantages of this is that I can go up to 12 books for the month and um, that's fine by me because I usually read be anywhere between 15 and 25 books in a month anyway so that's fine by me. The disadvantage to it and this is why I think it could be quite interesting is that I might only get one. I might only roll a one. <laughs> So, um, I mean, that doesn't mean I can only read one book for the month, but it just means I'll have one book for Bookopoly. So that's uh, wild. And the other thing that's going to make this interesting is that I will be um, putting a pound for every book that I read in a money box and trying to just sort of save myself a little bit of money for the end of the month. Now, now I'll only be doing this for Bookopoly books. So obviously if I roll a one that month, but I read 20 books, I'm only putting a pound away for uh, Bookopoly for that month. So uh, you can see how this could become very, very interesting. I just wanted to shake it up a little bit and put my own spin on it because this is obviously um, Becca's child and <laughs> i have come along and made my own so uh yeah just wanted to mix things up a bit so yeah i think that's everything you need to know about the board as in terms of my reading for the month of december there are a couple of readathons i would like to take part in so there is tis the seasonathon which is running from november 30th to december 6th which i really want to take part in and then there's also uh the mini polarathon which is taking part from the 4th of december which is my birthday to the 6th of December so that's just a weekend long one I'm really really excited for that one and then there's also the smutathon later on in the month whether or not I take part in that I'm not sure I really want to but we'll see what happens with my reading uh but yeah those are sort of like the 
readathons that I'm really interested in so I'll let you know at the end of the video whether or not I've managed to fit books for those but uh yeah let's get into it because I'm excited so let's get into the first roll so without further ado let's get into it we have uh jd on go ready to go and let's roll our first uh dnd roll i'm a little bit nervous let's see how this goes <laughs> Okay, so we got an eight. So I'll be doing eight rolls, which is fine. And obviously any doubles, I will have to add a roll. So let's go, I'm excited. Holy shit. <laughs> oh no. Okay, 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we have a small book of under 300 pages. So of course, roll number one was a double. Why wouldn't it be? Which means that we're up to nine rolls now, which is fine. Um, I'm not mad about that, to be fair. So the first one was a double and we got a small book. So for this one, I'm gonna go for Night of Cake and Puppets by Lainey Taylor. This is book 2.5 in the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. Now you will see what's happening with that in a second but yeah I'm really excited about this one I am taking part in the Dose Abalong which is being hosted by Maddie from Book Browsing Blog I will leave a link to her channel down below so you can go and check her out but the Dose Abalong is taking part for it started in November with Daughter of Smoke and Bone in December we're going to be reading Days of Blood and Starlight and in January we're going to read the last one which is called Dreams of Gods and Monsters. Now I really want to read book 2.5 it's not on the schedule but I want to read book 2.5 in December so sticking it on my TBR. This I, the last numbered page in this there are loads of illustrations in the back but the last numbers numbered page officially so uh, obviously on my board it says under 300 pages. The last official numbered page is page 190. And then there's a load of pages that are like illustrated. They've got illustrations on them. So um, yeah, this is well under 300 pages. So, so yeah, this is what I'm picking for that one. I'm excited. Rule number two is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. An adult fantasy. So roll number two brought us an adult fantasy. And for this one, I am reading Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor. Is anyone surprised? I did Google this and double check that it is an adult fantasy and according to Google it is, so that's what I'm going for. Um, I'm really excited about this one. This is, like I've just mentioned, the second in the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy and we are reading this for Dose Abalong. Uh, again, links to everything in the description box down below if you want to go and check it out. I am hyped to continue this series. I read Strange the Dreamer um, last year and the second one as well, Muse of Nightmares. And I wasn't a huge fan of them, to be honest. I'm not, I wasn't a massive fan of Lainey's writing style, but I actually love this so far. I loved Daughter of Smoke and Bone. So Daughter of Smoke and Bone is following Karu, who is a young girl who's trying to live two different lives, if you like. So one of them, she's at an art college in Prague with her best friend, Zuzana, and she's just a normal, mundane, everyday girl. And then in another one, she's been brought up by a monster called Brimstone, who brought her up from being a child and uh, she's just trying to, she runs errands for him and goes and picks up teeth, which he kind of deals in teeth. And she's wondering now, she's getting to a point why, where she's wondering why this is and what's going on. And things start going strange in her life and kind of falling more on the monster side of things than the mundane side of things. And uh, yeah, that's where we're up to. So I'm excited to continue on with the series and then obviously read Night of Cake and Puppets. Is that what it's called? I've just read that out. Night of Cake and Puppets, yeah. So I'm going to be reading this and then this one, but the order that they came out in was this way around. So excited. Rule number three is four. One, two, three, four. A romance. Book number three is a romance and this is the perfect time for me to add my contemporary book club's book on here which is One Day in December by Josie Silver. I don't know a great deal about this. This is following Laurie and also... 
uh, someone else. So it turns out that Laurie is pretty sure love at first sight doesn't exist. After all, life isn't a scene from the movies, is it? But then, through a misted up bus window one snowy December day, she meets a man who she she sees a man who she knows instantly is the one. Their eyes meet, there's a moment of pure magic, and then a bus drives away. Laurie thinks she'll see the boy from the bus again, but at their Christmas party a year later, her best friend Sarah introduces her to the new love of her life. Oh, who is of course the boy from the bus. Uh, determined to let him go, Laurie gets on with her life, but what if fate has other plans? I love stories like this. I am really excited for this one, actually. I, this has been on my shelves for a while now. I'm sure my sister-in-law bought me this about two years ago or something for Christmas. So I'm really, really excited and it's gonna be perfect for December as well. I have tried to get as many Christmas books on here as I possibly can, uh, but yeah, I'm hyped for this one. Roll number four is 10 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 is a community shelf card what did we get we got highest rated on my tbr next we got a community shelf card and the prompt was highest on my tbr um so i'm a little bit nervous about this okay so let's screen record this and see what happens see if i can get this to work so good reads my books want to read i don't know how up to date this is um i might need to go through actually at the end of the year and update everything so average rating so i'm currently reading hollow pox in the month of november so i'll hopefully finish that by the end clockwork princess i've read i don't know why my goodreads insists on keeping books on my want to read shelf when i've already read them i read it earlier on this year similarly with return to raw uh, the Winter of the Witch. So, this is the third in the Winter Night trilogy, and I am part way through the first, which is The Bear and the Nightingale, and then I do want to read The Girl in the Tower for December, in December, as part of Polothon. So, I think we're going to stick that on my TBI and say it counts, because it's part of the series. So, yeah, we're going to read uh, The Girl in the Tower. That worked out perfectly. Hey, okay, that's what we're reading. We're going to go for The Girl in the Tower. For Polathon, which is awesome. Good job, lad. Okay, cool. Um, that's what we're going for for that. Roll number five. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Randomize your Goodreads TBR. <laughs> Problem number five was to randomize my TBR. I am not happy about this. Let's uh, get this and hope it survives the trip. Okay um this is dying so we'll see how this goes so i've got 228 books on my want to read list so let's generate book 218 let's see what that is okay i'm not mad about that let me try and find it Book 218 on my want to read list is We Are Okay by Nina LaCour. I am not mad about this. I don't know a great deal about this, but I've heard good things and it's short. So you go through life thinking there's so much you need until you leave with only a phone, your wallet and a picture of your mother. Marion hasn't spoken to anyone from her old life since the day she left everything behind. No one knows the truth about those final weeks and the tragedy Marion has, has, has tried to outrun. Not even her best friend, Mabel. Now, months later, alone in an empty dorm for winter break, Marion waits. Mabel is coming to visit and Marion will finally be forced to face everything that's been left unsaid and confront the loneliness that has made a home in her heart. An intimate whisper that packs an indelible punch, this gorgeously crafted and achingly honest portrayal of grief will leave you urgent to reach across any distance to reconnect with the people you love. I've heard really good things, so okay, I'm not mad at that. I've been meaning to get to that and I don't know why I haven't been picking it up. I've been resistant, maybe um, it's, I've been kind of grieving myself anyway since my granddad passed last year, so I think I've just been resisting because of that, but yeah, uh, excited to pick that one up. Rule number six. We got seven two three four five six seven a chance card blooming it this is shaking things up a little bit isn't it what did we get somewhere only we know by maureen goo i'm not mad about that actually <laughs> 
So the next prompt was a chance card and that was Somewhere Only We Know by Maureen Goo and this is the book. I bought a bunch of Maureen Goo books <laughs> earlier on in the year and I haven't read any of them yet so I wanted to stick one of them on as a chance card of books that I want to read. I don't know what this is about. In a normal situation I will be cautious but today, today was today. The usual rules do not apply. 10pm. Lucky is the biggest K-pop star on the scene and she has just performed her hit song Heartbeat to thousands of adoring fans in Hong Kong. She's about to debut the Later Tonight show in America which will hopefully be the breakout performance of her career but right now she's in a fancy hotel trying to fall asleep dying for a hamburger. That's a mood. 11pm, uh, Jackie's sneaking into a fancy hotel on assignment for the tabloid job he keeps secret from his parents. On his way out of the hotel, he runs into a girl wearing slippers, a girl who is single-mindedly determined to find a hamburger. She looks kind of familiar, she's very cute, he, he's maybe curious. 12am, nothing will ever be the same. With a trademark humour and voice, Maureen Goo delivers a sparkling story about taking a chance on love and finding your self along the way. Sounds cute. I don't know much about K-pop, I have never listened to K-pop, I'm not in the K-pop world, but I can see me fall falling down a k-pop rabbit hole because of this we will see how this goes but i'm excited okay rule number seven three one two three a poll pick next is a poll pick so i put a poll up on instagram about not on instagram at all that's a pure lie on twitter about a half hour ago and the options were as follows uh, love from Secret Santa, In a Holidays and also 10 Blind Dates. I wanted a Christmas book so I put those three up and the results are in and it was a clear winner. I'm really really sad actually about the lack of votes for Love for, from Secret Santa. Love Secret Santa. Um, only 6% for this one which is a shame. It's not well known, I understand, but I really really am interested in reading this. There's a good chance I'm probably going to read it anyway but uh, we'll see. 10 blind dates got 29% and the clear winner was in a holidays with 65%. So we'll be sticking that on my TBR. This one I think has an element of magical realism to it. I haven't been able to figure it out, but this is following a woman called Maylin Jones. She lives with her parents, hates her no going nowhere job and has just made a romantic error of epic proportions. Um, she goes to her favorite place in the world every year and this is the last Christmas May will be there. The snowy Utah cabin where she and her family have spent the holidays every year since she was born along with two other beloved families. Mentally melting down as she drives away from the cabin for the final time, May throws out what she thinks is a simple plea to the universe. Please show me what will make me happy. The next thing she knows, tires screech and metal collides, everything goes black, but when May gasps awake, she's on a plane bound for Utah where she begins the same holiday over again. With one hilarious disaster after another, sending her back to the plane, May must figure out how to break through the strange time loop and finally get her true love under the mistletoe. It sounds fantastic, but yeah, I reckon there's an element of, um, magical realism to this so i don't know but i'm here for it it sounds so good rule number eight we got 10 which takes us over to gifted Rule number eight, which should have been our last rule but wasn't because of the double at the beginning, was uh, gifted books. So I went for A Season in the Snow by Isla Gordon. This was gifted to me by the publishers Little Brown and by Frankie from Little Brown. So thank you Frankie so much for sending me this. This was a gift from Little Brown. Um, it was sent, it was wrapped in wrapping paper, Christmas wrapping paper with some chocolates and it was just a gift to say thank you for the work that we've sort of put in as uh, bloggers and stuff this year. So I am really excited about this one. Thank you again to Little Brown and Frankie for sending me this one. I am hyped. I'm so excited to have another Christmas book on here. This doesn't come out till the 26th of November, which is a couple of days from me filming this your eyes open for this this is following a woman called alice bright she's got a great life she has a job she adores a devoted family and friends and she laid down her life for but when tragedy strikes she finds a whole world turned upside down enter bear a fluffy lovable and rapidly growing puppy searching for a home bear may be exactly what alice needs to rekindle her spark but a london flat is no place for a mountain dog and soon alice and bear find themselves on a journey to the snow topped mountains of switzerland in search of a new beginning amid the warm log fires cozy cafes and stunning views alice 
Alice finds her heart slowly beginning to heal, but will new friends and charming next door neighbour be enough to help Alice fall in love with life once more? I am here for this. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to pick this up. I've been meaning to pick it up all November and I've just not had the chance because I've been slumpy and I've been moody and it's just been terrible. <laughs> and I really want to enjoy this. So I am excited. I am living for this TBR. Final roll. Let's go. And roll number nine is three. One, two, three. A romance again. So the last roll gave us romance and for this one I am picking up a book that's actually like fantasy but it's got romance in it so I'm gonna make it work and we're going for Ironheart by Nina Varela. This is the second in the what's the series called Cryer's War series I don't know if that's the name of it but the first one is Cryer's War. I buddy read Cryer's War in what month are we in now was it October with Catherine and we're going to be reading this in December so I'm really really excited and literally the first line of the thing is an unstoppable love between two girls one human and one maid both set on destroying the iron heart so it's literally got romance in it um this is following two young girls one is maid one is human the human girl wants to kill the maid girl because the maid girl's dad basically destroyed her family uh, however the maid girl has fallen in love with the human girl and stuff has ensued it's really really good i really enjoyed it i gave it four out of five i gave cry as well four out of five stars so i'm excited to carry on and read iron heart for how gorgeous is this cover like it's so beautiful i'm so excited so that is my official tbr for the month of december which i'm really really here for um there are a couple of other books i would like to add on for polarathon so i have snow and rose by emily winfield martin this will be a reread for me i read it last year and i loved it and i just think it's gorgeous i love the illustrations the narration was fantastic and i just had a really great time with it so i can't wait to reread this one um, this is following Sisters Snow and Rose. They didn't know they were living in a fairy tale, basically. And I'm excited to read that one. And then also The Castle of Tangled Magic by Sophie Anderson. This is on my Believe on TBR, but there's no way I'm going to get it finished. And last night on a live that Jade hosted, she said that she would count this as a polar fantasy book. So I'm going to add it to this TBR because I want to get it read and I'm really, really in like dying to get this read so this is following a young girl called olia who steps through a magical doorway she discovers another land a ta land tangled by magic where hope is lost and scheming wizards hold all the power um so yeah these two i want to add to my tbr for polathon so my polathon tbr looks like this plus the girl in the tower i'll show a picture of it here i'm going to be ordering it soon hopefully um so yeah three books for that and then for tis the season a thon which does cross over with polar -a -thon. so if i can fit these in that would be awesome prompts are as follows a holiday themed book so i'm gonna go for dash and lily's book of dares i have heard really good things about this i think it's festive anyway i'm sure it's set around christmas and i know that there is a netflix adaptation at the moment that is up as well so i really want to read that but i'm holding off till i've read the book so i'm really excited for this one i know i'm adding a book to my tbr but I don't care. <laughs> I really want to read it. Next is a book I meant to get to this year. So I'm going for Castle of Tango Magic by Sophie Anderson. I meant to get to it in October when I bought the book and I didn't. I meant to get to it in November for Believeathon and I haven't. So we're going to be reading it in December. So and also this is on my Polathon TBR which does cross over with the Seasonathon. So perfect. That's what we're picking for that one. Next is a diverse book and I did just say that I was probably going to add this to my TBR. So we're going to go for Love, Secret Santa. This is by S.A. Domingo who is a black author. The characters in here are black as well so it is diverse. And I am really excited. The back of this just says to do in December. One, study for exams. Two, organise charity fundraiser. Three, find out who my secret Santa is. Falling in love isn't on Angel's to-do list but this Christmas is full of surprises. So I'm really excited for this one. It sounds so good and I can't wait to pick it up. Next is Lights on the Cover. So we're going for In Holidays obviously by Christina Lauren which I'm excited for. And then finally is a cosy read and we're going to go for The Girl in the Tower by Catherine Arden. So I'll show a picture of it here because again I do not own this book yet but I am hoping to do so soon. Uh, so yeah that's my Tis a Seasonathon TBR and my Mini Polarathon TBR sorted and as well as my Bookopolathon TBR. So let's just show you what my Bookopolathon on tbr looks like 
So this is what my book Hopalathon TBR looks like plus the girl in the tower. So there are nine books in total. So I will need to add nine quid to my uh, pot when I've read the books, once I've read the books. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. This does not look too bad at all. You can see how this could be worse though. Like there is opportunity for me to have 12 books on my TBR plus any doubles. And some of these could be thicker fantasy books. So, you know, you can see how this could be worse. Um, but yeah, I'm really hyped about this one. I'm very excited, which is great because I've been feeling really, really slumpy recently. And this is reviving me. I've needed this. I'm so excited. So yeah, thanks again to Becca for allowing me to make my own Bookopoly board. I really appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. Again, please do go check her channel out below if you haven't already and anybody else that I've mentioned in the video will be linked down below. So I have one final announcement which is a little bit exciting. It's exciting and also nerve-wracking for me. I hope it's exciting for you guys but I have set up a Patreon. It's been something that I've been thinking about for a while now. I would like to, there are obviously several reasons for doing this. One of the main ones for me is that I would like to connect with you guys a little bit more and I would like to give you some extra content and things like that where I can. Um, the other reason is that this will really really help me sort of boost my channel a lot. Uh, there are things that I would really like to get for my channel that I'm just struggling financially to buy at the moment. For example, a ring light would be perfect. You can see how I'm trying to use the natural daylight, but in winter, that's really, really difficult to do. Um, so there are some days where I can't even film at all and a ring light would be perfect, but these things are not cheap. So, so this gives me an opportunity to be able to get things that would be able to boost my channel and help make things uh, look a lot better and try and make my content a bit better and give me the chance to do things a little bit better and that is one of my aims with this channel. I do want to uh, grow and make my content better for you guys and stuff like that. So I am really hoping that my Patreon gives us the chance to do this, to get to know each other better and gives me the chance to be able to produce better content for you. So if you want to go and check it out, I'll leave a link down below in the description box. Uh, but very quickly, I have three tiers. The tiers have been named after some crews that I really really love within the fictional world. So the first tier is the dregs and in this tier you will get Patreon only updates and behind the scenes content on my Patreon. The second crew is the Rampion crew and with this one you will get everything that you get from the Dregs crew but also there will be a Discord channel and a bi-monthly buddy read as well. So every two months we will read a book between us and then have a discussion about the book on the Discord channel, which I'm really, really excited about. And then the third tier is Squad 312, and I'm really excited about this one. You get everything that you got in the previous two squads, and then you also get early access to at least two videos a month and a vote for a book on my TBR for the month as well. So, um, if you would like to find out more information about this, like I say, there will be a link in the description box down below. Please do not in any way feel a pressure to do so. Um, but I would appreciate anybody who feels that they would like to support a little bit extra. I just, the fact that you're even here and watching these videos is enough support for me, 100%. But I would just really, really love to kind of give... The lighting for example uh, kind of give um, just a little bit more back so make my videos a little bit better and just enhance the quality of them a bit more and things like that so um, yeah I love and appreciate you all so much you've got me here and got me this far and I really really appreciate it but I'll leave a link to the Patreon down below if you're interested in finding out more about that. I just feel so really, really awkward right now. Um, but yeah, I just decided to set this up. I had a chat with Pris about it and um, she thought it was a great idea. So yeah, thank you so much for being here. I really, really love you guys. If you got to the end of the video, uh, let me know. Drop me a die in the description box down below. And if you have read any of these, let me know what your thoughts were. I am so excited about this TBR. I already want to start it. Um, so yeah, I am hyped. So hyped. I hope you guys loved this video. Thank you so much for being here and I shall see you next time. Bye for now.